The fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. I've quoted this many times from the precious word of God. I'm quoting it again. I've lived this. My whole ministry lives this. This ministry would not even be able to function if not for the fervent prayer of so many righteous and those standing and supporting in the heavenly realms and just standing in agreement and us being able to do these things that we do. And in difficult times, all of us at this stage of the race, where we are at the very end, the very pinnacle of the moment where we are all waiting to hear that trumpet blow for the Lord to come. He who promised, who is faithful to come and fetch us. The enemy's onslaughts are rising. He attacks us financially. He attacks us with our goods, with, with things in our lives. He attacks relationships. He attacks everything. He attacks your mind. He attacks anything he can touch, your loved ones. And he wants to break you. He wants to steal your hope. He wants to deceive you, confuse you. He wants you to think God is not in control, that God is not watching over you. He wants to rob you of your crown, of being eager and watching and being excited about Him coming to fetch us. He wants you to give up. And we are there to support one another. Like Moses, when the Israelites fought against the enemy, he had to hold his arms up. As long as his arms stayed up, they won. And when he grew tired and weary and his arms started dropping, they began losing. And they had to come alongside him and lift his arms and strengthen him and support him. And they won again. And that is a beautiful picture of how we have such a holy duty to support one another in this final stretch. To pray for one another. To love one another. To come together as a unit, a flock, and run that last stretch of the race, leaving no one behind. So in this video, I am placing it here, and I want you to share underneath in the comments your prayer requests, your struggles, things you need us to carry before the throne of grace. And all of you in this whole ministry that are here, I want you to come and look at these comments and comment and show these people they're loved. Support them, love them, pray for them, bring them and their stories that they have to the throne of God. Because we can stand together in agreement. We can support each other. We can lift each other's hands. There's nothing more important. We are in this together. So let's pray together. Shalom.